Hi, John Lay here from Town to Learning with another Hot Take Review. Today's Hot Take Review is on the Top, top Class LMS by WBT Systems. WBT Systems is an organization founded in 2006. They're out of Dublin, Ireland, and they had their roots in the corporate space, but over the years they migrated to firmly being in the for-profit training space and in the professional association space. And almost all of their clients are offering training for sale, uh, continuing education certificates uh, to their ultimate end learners, which could be businesses or sub-associations, or it could be individuals too. So they enable associations and for-profit training companies uh, to succeed with their learning uh, system. Uh, in 2021, about one year ago exactly, they were acquired by ASI. ASI is the owner or maker of the IMIS Association Management System, and WBT Systems and IMIS had lots of joint uh, clients. So uh, the merger brings together these two organizations, not structurally, uh, but just kind of financially or organizationally. Uh, they both op operate independently, but what it does do is give another whole layer of synergy and of uh, integration and of really specialization between those two systems. With that being said, uh, WBT has lots of other clients that don't use IMIS because there's lots of AMSs out there, and they have a specialty in working with Salesforce and Dynamics. Uh, integrations which are on the ascendant in uh, the AMS world and also with working with the the organizations like Fontiva and Nimble that are layers on top of uh, Salesforce that uh, are also popular uh, in the marketplace today. Some of their claims to fame from a product standpoint or a new product standpoint uh, is that they have strong organizational and domain capabilities to keep groups uh, separate uh, and, and things like that, of course, which you need between members and non-members, for example. They're good at custom integration uh, with these different AMS systems because it's kind of a complex thing to do, the headless LMS, your e-commerce and a lot of other functions are in the AMS and then the LMS is for uh, the learning and tracking. And so you got to merge those two systems and they're really good at excellent uh, at the merging of uh, AMSs and LMSs, so the LMS kind of sits in the background, but also has the ability to stand alone uh, in a non-integrated uh, in way. Uh, so they have that. Uh, they have uh, the concept of virtual conferences. So uh, they have always worked at events, but virtual conferences during the pandemic are exactly that. It's like an area, it's like almost building out a mini website uh, just for a conference. It's got overviews, it's got who should attend, it's got all the sessions listed, and all the sessions are actually events in the LMS, of course, and they're color-coded, whether they're events for everybody or they're down tracks. Learners or browsers can add these events to their tracks. The events, when you click on, it has all the speaker notes and the bios. It has a whole virtual uh, vendor area exposition floor where you can click on vendors, see vendors that are uh, more uh, equal than others. Uh, in, in terms of uh, partners or what they're paying, uh, as it turns out, contact those vendors. So it's a nice little site, and they've helped a lot of their clients that were you know, in a pinch uh, at first, just with COVID and, and the lockdowns and not having their live sites, but then realized that they could use this type of technology to augment or replace, you know, virtual or regional meetings, uh, excuse me, regional meetings or, you know, vertical breakout groups or things like that. Uh, and so it's been a, a nice way for their clients to, to generate uh, more revenue. Uh, their UI is uh, recently revamped. The homepage is nice. It's a widget based with lots of different types of widgets, carousel, featured content, recommended content, testimonials, calendar search, sponsors widgets, you know, due date, uh, you're in, you're in uh, in-app messaging, your certifications, your path dashboards of that. So a lot of uh, widgets uh, that are there that you can use to create a nice dashboard. Once you click through that dashboard and get into the LMS uh, part of the, the application, it looks like an LMS. It's pretty straightforward, left-hand menu, uh, lots of white spots. Um, they recently revamped uh, the, the user interface. It's definitely better than before. Uh, it's a lot of empty space or a lot of open space, and it's plain. Um, that's not bad. It's just plain uh, in the sense that it's it's bare bones. I guess you you, you basically schnaz it up uh, if you want to uh, 
on a client by client basis, or a lot of it's snazzed up in the uh, virtual conference or the you know the homepage uh, type thing. Uh, they also uh, working on uh, uh, skill and competencies, uh, so they have an existing skill and competency model and uh, revamping that right now to support that whole life cycle and continue in education from identifying skills and competencies, tying assessments and content to it, allowing for uh, self-assessment, getting a plan, creating that plan and tying it to how long you have to study to achieve your goals and being able to manage to work that plan of taking your learning a little bit over time. Uh, until you meet what you're going to uh, do. So they have uh, clients all over the world, 5.5 uh, million active users in 23 countries. WBT Systems is a specialist learning provider that's focusing on enabling associations and continuing education providers on both the nonprofit and the for-profit side. So there you have it. There's my hot take on WBT Systems. You can find more of our independent content at talentedlearning.com. We hope to see you on the next. Have a great day.